Therapath will provide your practice with one testing kit per patient for evaluation of small fiber neuropathy. Kits are shipped to your practice via overnight service. As soon as the shipment arrives, remove the kit from the shipping container. Open each kit for proper storage. On top of the cooler, you will find a requisition form and a shipping information card. Inside the cooler, Therapath provides one return pack, one punch biopsy kit, and one set of fixative vials. Store the fixative as indicated on the biohazard bag and note the expiration date. PLP fixative is good for 28 days and requires refrigeration. Zamboni's fixative is good for up to one year and can be stored at room temperature. At the bottom of the cooler is an ice pack that needs to be frozen for the return shipment. The other components should be stored at room temperature until needed. The sterile skin biopsy punch kit contains adhesive bandages, forceps, a punch tool, scissors, alcohol swabs, iodine swabs, and gauze. You will need to provide gloves, 2% lidocaine with epinephrine, and an injecting needle. Therapath has established reference values for five standard biopsy sites. The proximal arm site is located on the lateral surface midway between the shoulder and the elbow. The distal arm site is located on the upper surface of the forearm, 5 centimeters above the wrist. The thigh site is located 20 centimeters below the iliac spine at the level of the pubis. The distal leg or calf site is located 10 centimeters above the lateral malleolus. The standard foot site is located on the dorsum of the foot over the extensor digitorum brevis muscle. Prep and clean the chosen biopsy sites with the supplied alcohol and iodine swabs. After cleaning the biopsy site, you will use the lidocaine and injecting needle to numb the patient. Inject the lidocaine into the subcutaneous tissue surrounding the biopsy site. Keep in mind not to inject the needle through the biopsy site. With the lidocaine, create a bleb or bubble underneath the dermis. Check that the area is numb before performing the biopsy. While waiting for the injected area to numb, cover the patient's leg with a surgical draping. The next step will require the punch tool, scissors, forceps, and the appropriate number of specimen vials. Keep in mind that you will need one labeled vial per sample. Apply pressure to the skin with the punch tool. As you are applying pressure, rotate the tool back and forth so that it punctures the skin. Insert the tool the full distance of the metal head and remove the tool from the site. With the forceps, carefully grasp the sample from underneath the epidermis and use the scissors to remove the sample. Should the sample remain in the metal head of the punch tool, use the plastic stylus to eject the sample into a vial. This illustration serves as a guide to appropriate sample collection the epidermis, the epidermal nerve fibers, the dermis, sweat glands located in the dermis, and nerve fibers surrounding the sweat gland. The illustration now shows the metal head of the punch tool penetrating through the epidermis to the dermis to a depth of four millimeters. By going to this depth, you are capturing both the available epidermal nerve fibers and sweat gland nerve fibers. Again, it is important to grasp the sample from underneath the epidermis to avoid damaging the nerve fibers. When placing the sample in the fixative vial, ensure that the sample is floating in the fixative and not stuck to the screw threads at the top of the vial. Therapath provides two adhesive bandages and gauze. After the procedure, cover the biopsy site with the supplied gauze and bandage. The patient should leave the biopsy sites covered for 24 hours with your original dressing. Use the labels for the requisition form to label the vials with the patient's name. For shipping the samples back to Therapath, place the labeled vials in the biohazard bag. You will need the cooler and frozen ice pack for return shipping. Place the ice pack at the bottom of the cooler and add the foam barrier to the top of the ice pack. Place the biohazard bag containing the sample vials on top of the barrier and cover the cooler. Place the cooler inside the kit box. Add the completed requisition form and any additional paperwork on top of the cooler. Close and secure the box and place it inside the pre-labeled shipping pack. Samples need to be shipped the day of the procedure. To schedule a pickup, call the shipping company customer service number provided on the shipping information card. Biopsies can be scheduled Monday through Friday, 
as the shipping companies can deliver samples to our laboratory over the weekend. Our lab staff will immediately begin processing the samples and you can expect an initial pathology report in 7 to 10 days. If you have any questions, please call or email.